How did a former Quadriga executive finally run the DeFi protocol? The founder of Wonderland explained that, following one of the most tumultuous 48 hours in recent crypto history, DeFi's most freewheeling act is showing signs that it may be coming to an end. On Thursday morning, popular on-chain analyst Zaxpt revealed in a Twitter thread that 0x Saifu, the pseudonymous treasury manager for decentralized finance project Wonderland, is in fact Michael Patron, the co-founder of a notorious Canadian crypto exchange that defrauded investors of upwards of $190 million. Read more. Wonderland rattled after co-founder tied to failed Quadriga CX exchange. The revelation has rocked Frog Nation, a loose conglomerate of projects including Popsicle Finance, Wonderland, and Abracadabra, which are all currently helmed by prolific DeFi developer Daniele Sestigali. Frog Nation-related assets, including ICE, Time and Spell are down on the day in excess of 30%, and observers are now worried that Abracadabra's MIM, one of the largest algorithmic stablecoins with a circulating supply in excess of $4.6 billion, per CoinGecko, may lose its peg. In an effort to understand how Patron came to be so deeply embedded in the organization, Coindesk reached out to Sestigali, who expressed doubts about the manner in which he ultimately revealed his colleague's past to the community, but not about working with him in the first place. I have been thinking today. Could I have prevented more damage today by saying, yes, it's him? I don't know, he said. Read more, Wonderland's time sets low of $420 after liquidation cascade. Sestigali told Coindesk that he initially began talking to Patron in a trading group with other prominent crypto personalities. Sestigali had previously taken note of how Patron added valuable input in a variety of other chat channels, particularly related to yield farming mechanics. When Sestigali launched Wonderland, a fork of Olympus DAO, in September 2021, he thought that Patron would be a natural fit, particularly after Patron made suggestions for Abracadabra features. When I decided I wanted to launch Wonderland, I said to him, I know you know a lot about OHM, and he had a deep understanding of bonding. Do you want to help me use the Olympus DAO model to raise funds for a DAO? While working together, Wonderland grew to be arguably the most successful Olympus fork, at one point even exceeding Olympus Treasury. Festigali and Patron became notorious for their aggressive use of treasury funds, investing in startups and deploying yield farming strategies, at times being accused of recklessness. We had tons of meetings, passed through moments and difficult decisions, that's how I met him. Not as a person, but as Saifu, said Sestigali. Read more, Avalanche-based Wonderland makes seed investment in betting DAP. The two first met in person after Sestigali had to flee his country of residence last year after threats against his family following his home address being docked. Sestigali invited Patron to move with him as well as large swaths of the rest of the Frog Nation team. Patron eventually agreed, and as the two grew closer in person, Patron revealed his past. According to Sestigali, his personal experience working with Patron led him to believe that the convicted felon had turned a new leaf. In my personal opinion, I try to avoid judging people for what they have done in the past. I tried to stick to the experience I had with him, and we had many, many months of working together, talking every day, and building successful things together. Anon culture is popular in crypto, especially in DeFi circles, where it is not uncommon for founders and prominent members to maintain some level of anonymity. Nonetheless, Sestigali was taken aback by the revelation, saying he felt like I was living in a Netflix documentary. When he told me, it was kind of wild. It's me, it's this, I was like holy fuck. Of all the people I could have encountered in my journey, I encountered him. What were the chances? He says he conducted personal due diligence on Patron's background, but ultimately decided to overlook his colleague's history because Patron has not had any behavior internally in our experience that would raise any red flag. I did my own research. I looked into it, I said, okay, there is a young guy who did some credit card stuff, you understand? Some mistakes, when he was young. And then there was the Quadriga situation, which is definitely unclear he said. Crypto exchange Quadriga CX was founded by Gerald Cotton and Patron in 2013, quickly becoming one of the largest crypto exchanges by trading volumes in Canada. Cotton died in December 2018 after a trip to India, after which over $190 million worth of cryptocurrency owed to 115,000 customers was deemed missing, as per report. Where the funds went remains a mystery, as Quadriga executives claimed that only Cotton had access to the private keys that held the millions of dollars worth of client funds. Sestigali admitted that the circumstances surrounding Cotton's death did give him pause. To be honest, at the beginning, when I did my research I had my doubt. You know, I was like, yo, I'm another co-founder, I don't want to end up like the last one, Sestigali said, laughing. Ultimately, however, he opted to trust his gut. You can look at something from afar and you can look someone in the eyes. I asked him, what was his version of the situation? And in my opinion, at that point in time, let's be realistic, 
it was good enough. If it wasn't, I would have put him out. Vestigali claimed multiple times throughout the interview that the Time Treasury funds, currently worth in excess of $700 million, per a dashboard shared with Coindesk, previously managed by Patron are safe. Additionally, in a post in Discord on Thursday morning, Patron himself wrote that there is no risk to Wonderland assets if something happens to me. The funds are reportedly managed by a multi-signature scheme, a popular tool that requires multiple individual signatories to approve transactions. Multi-sigs are broadly considered to be a bare minimum security tool, however, particularly when managing a fund of Wonderland side. Moving forward, Sestigali said that what happens next is in the hands of the rarely invoked Wonderland DAO. Right now is not managing the treasury, and the community needs to vote on if he should stay. That will happen today, he said. Currently, a vote is active to decide if Patron should be permanently removed from his position as treasurer. Sestigali noted that he will be abstaining from the vote, only the seventh in the DAO's history. I already made my choice, he said.